What's up, more flavor gang? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hopefully, y'all ready for another delicious recipe because I show enough how I went on deck. And today, we're going to be making meatloaf. But before we get started with the video, what I would like for all my new viewers to do is to click on subscribe. And after you click on subscribe, click on that bell button so that you'll know, be notified of each and every recipe that I post. So without further ado, let's get into the video. You're going to need some seasoned salt, ground black pepper, parsley flakes, garlic powder, onion powder, adobo seasoning. You cannot go wrong with adobo seasoning. If you don't have any in your cabinet, get you some. Bread crumbs, ketchup, I have some diced green bell pepper, red bell pepper, and onion, which I diced up, pre-diced up before this video. Three large eggs, half a cup of milk. I know some of y'all wondering like milk and meatloaf, but stay tuned. I will tell you why. <laughs> and lastly, two pounds of ground beef. Okay, first you're going to set your oven to 350, preheat your oven to 350 degrees so that it can be good and ready for the meatloaf. Okay, as you can see, I have the ground beef in a bowl and ready to go. So first we're going to add the green pepper, bell pepper, red bell pepper and onion medley to the meatloaf. Now the three eggs. Okay, now you're going to add some seasoned salt. I'm just gonna sprinkle it to my liking. Everyone is different. So just sprinkle it till you feel that it's good enough for you because I know with seasoning, everybody is different. So I'm gonna use that amount. <laughs> Next, we're going to sprinkle some adobo. Some onion powder. Now let's add some ground black pepper. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Now I'm going to add some parsley flakes. It's not coming out fast enough for me, but that will do. Some garlic powder. What you want is the flavorful meatloaf. That's why I made sure I put the correct amount of seasoning in this so that you know the flavors can become so the flavors can come from everywhere when you bite into it. You don't want to blend meatloaf. That's the worst. You know, you want something with flavor. So that's why I put the seasonings in the way I did. So without further ado, let's add that ketchup. That should do it. One cup of breadcrumbs. And lastly, I have that half a cup of milk. As you can see, half a cup. So it's time to get the mixing. 
Okay, let's dig in. You want to mix this all around so everything could be evenly seasoned. Okay. Okay, you're going to make sure this evenly combined so like we don't want to mush it too much. We just want to make sure that, you know, everything is, you know, in every bite by mixing it as much as possible, but don't over mix it. Okay, as y'all can see, I've already placed my meatloaf inside of my glass cooking pan. It's already evenly mixed, combined, whatever. So now it's time to form this bad boy, y'all. I hope y'all ready. Okay, let's form this thing up. Come on, y'all. I'm saying, come on, y'all. Like, y'all really sitting in front of the camera doing it with me. But I know eventually somebody will. <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm just forming it. You want to make sure you have no cracks in the meatloaf. Push the sides in. And also, I didn't forget about telling you all why I put the milk in the meatloaf. And that is actually to keep the meatloaf juicy. Because you don't want um, dry meatloaf. And that milk actually helps it to keep it juicy and actually tenderize along with the seasoning. So, that's why I added the milk. And also, too, after this meatloaf is done cooking, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some ketchup on the top of the meatloaf. And this actually brings me to a discussion because I know maybe some weeks ago on social media, they had like this whole debate on whether ketchup or gravy goes on meatloaf. And you know me, I'm like team ketchup. Like, what you mean? So a lot of people were saying ketchup. And then you had like a good handful that was saying gravy. So what I would like for you all to do, to do is drop down in the comment section and let me know what do you prefer on your meatloaf. Is it ketchup or gravy? So do that right now. Let me know if you team ketchup or team gravy for the meatloaf. But you know what? You already know more flavor is team ketchup. <laughs> So, as you can see, we have this meatloaf all formed and nice, so it's time to place it in the oven. And we're going to cook it for 45 minutes. Okay, before I place it in the oven, I really want y'all to get a good look at this meatloaf in the way I formed it. As you can see, there's no cracks, just how I want it. So, there you have it. Okay, while the meatloaf is cooking in the oven, we're going to start making that ketchup sauce. So first, I added one cup of Heinz ketchup to my bowl. After that, you're going to need one tablespoon of sugar, what I have here. A teaspoon of garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of parsley. Now I'm going to just mix it. I have a pot of rice cooking on the stove. Getting ready for that meatloaf, y'all. Meatloaf and rice is so good. I know a lot of people prefer meatloaf and mashed potatoes, but I love meatloaf and white rice. I'm also going to make some green beans to go along with that.
Okay, the ketchup sauce is ready. Okay, as you can see, the meatloaf is now finished. While the meatloaf was cooking, all the oil started draining from out the meatloaf. So as you can see, all that oil is in a pan. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain it off and then transfer it to another glass pan. And then we're going to start putting the ketchup sauce on top of the meatloaf. So stay with me. Okay, I've transferred the meatloaf into the other glass pan. So now let's start putting that ketchup sauce on the meatloaf. I'm going to use this spoon here because I find it easily done because the brush, to brush it on, it like it takes forever. So we're going to do it my way and use this good old spoon and just get it all over the meatloaf. This sauce even smells good, y'all, the, the ketchup sauce and the ingredients that I put in it, you can smell it like the garlic. And all that coming from the sauce, it smells so good. So after we're done with this, we're gonna put it back in the oven for like maybe five to eight minutes. And then let it cool. And then it's gonna be time to cut and slice. Slice and cut, cut and slice. However you like it. Or however you like to say it. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, all done. The meatloaf has been cooling for about a good 10 minutes. And after that, I sliced it so it's ready to be served. Like I said before, early on in the video, drop down in the comment section and let me know if you're team ketchup for your meatloaf or team gravy. As you can see, and as I said before, that I'm team ketchup. And I think, and I not think, but I really feel like it's, it is better. So, there you have it. Meatloaf, more flavors way. Y'all see how juicy that thing is? Yes. Get into it. Get into it. As always, I thank you for watching the More Flavor channel.